now I enter into the next application. Here I write some small, small program and you check how as a developer you can use loop in your program. Now that is the fourth program I write. Here you see I just write here that is public class that is loop. Anyway, I just move here. That is the public. That is a static. Void. Main. Here I pass. That is the fine. String. Yeah, I am just entered into the. What is my next job? What I can do here? I just write uh, that is uh, fine int i is equal to i value is 1. Now I write here while that is true. Check here I just write here while true. Right? That is uh, I pass the condition if uh, i equals 5. Then I write here system, sorry, I just write here that it is break. Getting now I write here I plus plus. Here I write that it is system dot out dot print a line. I print the value of I and of the main. Here you see, I write the simple code. What is my intention? What I want to show you? I am using a term called as break. What is the meaning of break? That I explain. Here what happens? Within the while loop, I am passing a condition within it. I pass a condition within it. Now, int i is 1. While true, I already explained in the introduction part. When I write while true, it is an infinite condition. Then statement executed because it is an infinite loop. Condition always satisfied. Enter into the block. I value is 1. 1 equals 5. Your condition is not satisfied because 1 equals 5. Condition in I value is 1. 1 equals 5. Condition is not satisfied. Now, when the condition is not satisfied, it will not enter into the block i plus plus. i value is already 1. When it is 1 plus plus, fine. After the line terminates, semicolon, i value is put, uh, that is 2. Now, i value is 2. Then, another time, enter into the loop. While true, condition satisfied, enter. 2 equals 5. No, condition not satisfied. So this statement never be executed. I plus plus. Now I value is 2. 2 plus plus. 2 plus plus is word 3. Then another time. While true. Yes, condition satisfied. If 3 equals 5. No. Condition not satisfied. This statement is not executed. 3 plus plus. When it is a 3 plus plus, it is what? Uh, that is a 4. Check here. While true, condition satisfied, enter 4 equals 5. Your condition not satisfied. So this statement never be executed. I plus plus. That is a 4 plus plus. 4 plus plus is 5. Here you see. While true. Condition satisfied. 5 equals 5. Yes. Condition satisfied. When I write here break, check here. I write here break. Break means word. Terminate from condition or terminate from loop. Remember, break means terminate from that is loop. When I terminate from loop, Means uh, I terminate from this block. 
then I have a print statement. If I terminate from condition, then I plus plus. This is six. But it is means terminate from that is what a terminate from loop. It quit from loop. When it is quit from loop, what is the value of I is? Here it print. I value is five. Remember it must print the I value is five. Check. This is the way the task can be done. So I write my fourth program. I just to give you some ideas about to break. How can I use the break? I show you. See what is possible here. I just write the same code here. Check. I just write a notepad here. You see, there it is. Look for dot. See. Now, this is the same program I write loop 4, j is equal to 1, while 2, if j equals 5, then break, otherwise j plus plus. I just write system out printer in j. Now, see the same code I write here, you check. I just write here, that is Java C. Anyway, I just compile the code Java. That is the loop four. Check here. What's the value is? Value is what? That is five. So this is the simple concept that I want to show.